Commodore is among the first platform to streamline Kubernetes troubleshooting by offering a kind of unified view of all events across the entire Kubernetes stack, which gives uh, developers deeper insight that they need uh, to solve issues more effectively. The company is coming out of the stealth mode with 25 million investment. To talk about the company, the problem area that they are trying to solve, today we have with us Etl Schwartz, CTO and co-founder of Commodore. Etl, it's good to have you on the show. Hey, great to be here. Uh, let's start with the, the story of the company. It's an elevator pitch, so uh, just give us a quick summary because if you look at Kubernetes space, it's a very crowded, very busy space. There are a lot of companies who are already in the observability and monitoring space. So talk about what unique problem that you saw that nobody was solving or the manner you wanted to solve that you created the company. Yeah, sure. So I will say that the company it was born from both me and my co-founder, Ben Fury Experience. Ben worked in Google that, you know, uh, developed uh, Kubernetes. I used to work in eBay and another, like a uh, couple of Israeli startups. And the pain that both of us felt really strongly is you have an issue, you know that there is a problem, but now what you try to do, like what every developer or DevOps or like support person you try to do is to figure out what change in the system that might explain the issue that they are currently experiencing. And like most, cha most issues, most incidents, don't start like from a machine that just fell or something like that. Most of them really originated from a change that happened somewhere inside the organization. So even though that there are a lot of really great monitoring tools in this space, and you, you said, like, like you said, it looks really crowded, like that Datadog and New Relic and AppDynamic and all of these guys. So they're doing a great job in creating more and more alerts. Basically, they are saying like you have a high CPU or a high latency or a high error rate. But once you get this alert, once the dev is getting this specific alert, he's quite helpless in trying to figure out what change that might explain this alert. Because because of the high adoption of Kubernetes and of microservice architecture as in general, what happened is that there are a lot of more places to look at basically when you have an issue. It's not that you have one monolith that change, I don't know, like once a year or something like that. You have a lot, hundreds, thousands of different microservices owned by different teams that keep on changing rapidly. And now think about like the person on call or the one who is trying to troubleshoot. You need to figure out what change in this like very complex system. And when I say a change, it can be something as simple as, I don't know, like a scale up or down for one of the services, but it can be something much more complex, like a change of image that also changed the code, that changed the dependency. And because of all of those issues, now the system is down. What Commodore tried to do, what we try to solve is to make that part of the investigation, which most of the time, like when you try to solve an issue, you spend it on the investigate part. We try to take this time that might be like hours of hours of troubleshooting and jumping on between like different tools, jump between PagerDuty and Datadog and uh, Kubernetes and GitHub and Jenkins and, and so on. What we try to do is to give the one that is currently trying to troubleshoot all the context that he needs in order to troubleshoot efficiently. Basically to tell them, oh, you have this issue, FYI, this part change in your system, and this part is, uh, you are dependent to this part because th those two microservices speak with one another. Maybe you should look first on this change. And also, by the way, it changed the Docker file. So this is a risky change. Maybe, may maybe investigate it first before go going like to other places. Um, yeah, so, so I think uh, I spoke uh, a little bit about both like the motivation, which came from our personal pain, but also why even though the space looks crowded, maybe like from the outside, once you're the one who probably should, once you are the one that is waking up in the middle of the night, you don't feel like you have too much data. Basically, you feel like a detective trying to figure out like who, 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 have, who have done the murder or something like that. I also want to quickly talk about uh, the observability and monitoring space also. Uh, if you look at observability, it's playing a very critical role in today's you know, cloud native architecture. You do need to know what's going on in the system. But, I, uh, but what does observability do? Where does it stop? Is that 
it just tells you, hey, something is wrong in that direction. But now, to be able to go in and fix the actual problem, you also need to understand what is wrong. So when we look at Commodore, can you talk about the scope that you know you just stop where you monitor and tell, hey, something is going wrong. Now you go figure out, or you go deeper there too. Yeah, sure. So I will say that like monitoring tools are really good in telling you the symptoms. They will tell you that uh, services like like I said like a high latency or a high error rate or anything like that. And like they do a great job in in this area. And they even might tell you like there are a couple of things that are currently wrong. But now once you get the issue, once you say okay, I want to start troubleshooting this thing, what you really need, what you what you seek is context is to understand there was something clear to this change. When was maybe the last time it happened? Uh, what other services might be affected? What other teams might be related to this issue? And what Commodore tried to do, we tried to be like the first step in understanding and gaining all of this context. So not only that we give you like the changes, but we try to give you much more than that. We try to give you all the context you need in order to troubleshoot. And this context might be related to the system topology telling you that other services in the same team are currently experiencing issues, or maybe by the network topology, uh, uh, upstream or a downstream service that is having an issue in the same time that you're experiencing an issue. And, and, and basically to collect all of the different pieces that you need a lot of expertise and a lot of time to collect all in a single place. So like the vision and, and the product, and, and I have to say that we already have like happy customers is the ability to get the context you need when you need it without the need to jump to a, a lot of different tools and to know how to expertize yourself, be, be an expert in all of them. Because like you said, an issue today in, in microservices, it's not like uh, something that is unrelated to, to the rest of the environment. You are a very small team in a bigger, in a bigger environment. And without the understanding, without the macro level view, like you can't really troubleshoot efficiently. And what we see, by the way, like how people are currently solving it is not by, by using like data or things like that, but by like going even further on the human side of things and basically asking in Slack, like who changed the system? Like I'm experiencing an issue. Can, can anyone help me please? And what we see is that organization are basically have those bottlenecks, those like gurus of troubleshoot that I keep being bombarded with questions like, how do I troubleshoot this? How do I troubleshoot this? How do I know what thing, when things change? And Commodore tried to help not only for like the uh, veteran DevOps, but also for the developers that are trying to troubleshoot. If you look at uh, Kubernetes, <laughs> there are too many knobs to turn. It does make things already too complicated. It's, it's, and if you look at CNCF landscape, there are so many logos. Uh, and when it comes to observability or getting a peek into system, uh, how does Kubernetes kind of make it even harder to, to see what changed, what went wrong? So let's talk about that area also so that we, we do understand what role Commodore is playing. I will say that the cool thing about Kubernetes, and I really like the, the technology, is it makes you develop microservices easier than ever. All you need is a simple YAML and you feel like you know, like you have everything. And if once, like, in order to run 100 microservices, you need to spend a lot of time, money, expertise. All you need to do now is basically to have one YAML file, maybe to, to, to give, bring different values. So Kubernetes, by allowing you to develop faster, it's just like shooting yourself in the leg uh, a lot easier because you can develop more, more rapidly. You can have more microservices, but in the end of the day, you are left out with a system that you can't really control. And usually companies understand that too late, only after they are really deep inside their Kubernetes migration or like their uh, cloud adoption. The company is out of a stealth mode. Uh, you have good investment. I want to understand what kind of roadmap you have. I, I, I know that there are a lot of things that you cannot share at this point. <laughs> you will keep them. But whatever you can share so that we have a very good insight in what is going to be the focus for Commodore going forward. Yeah, so I think we're going to focus on like the two things that we currently do and basically to expand it. So one thing is to be the hub that has all of the changes that happen in your system. Like I said, a change is not only a Kubernetes change, it might be a configuration change, a launch darkly change, a console change, a ball change. A lot of different things change and Commodore goal is to capture all of these changes into Commodore and to put them in the right context once you have an issue. So this is like regarding like the first part. The second part is to be more active once you have an issue, once you have an incident. 
basically our goal is to be your helper. Once you have an issue to tell you, this is all the context you need, come here, understand this issue a lot better, understand how to solve it and understand what other areas might be affected by this issue or might have caused this issue. Etiel, thank you so much for uh, taking time out today and share not only the story of Commodore, but also uh, that even in this observability space, which kind of seems like a solved problem, but there are, you know, as you mentioned, so many challenges that have to be tackled and Commodore is looking at solving those challenges. And you also shared your roadmap. Uh, I mean, I, I'm excited about the company. Uh, I would love to have you back on the show but thanks for your time today. So thank you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure being here.